Hi guys! So today I am going to be showing you my Lily Pulitzer after party sale haul from January of 2019. I'm going to be showing you everything I bought in store and online from both Zappos and the Lily Pulitzer store. Um, I've also made a previous video very similar to this from September of 2018 and that after party sale haul. So if you have not watched that, definitely go back and check it out. That's my most popular video at this point. Um, I bought a lot more at that sale actually, but there was just more inventory available in that sale than in the winter one. So I didn't buy quite as much, but I still got some really great stuff I want to share with you guys. So how I'm going to be doing this today is I'm going to show you what I got from the APS preview sale in stores first. I went to a corporate store and bought a couple things. Then I'm going to show you what I bought at Zappos. And then I will show you what I bought from the Lily website during the online sale. And last time I did have some people ask for try-ons. And I know some people like the try-on part and some people don't, but I'm going to arrange it in a way that makes it easy for you either way. So after each section of in-store or Zappos, I will try on the items afterwards. So if you do want to scroll through that part until the next section, that's fine. If you'd love to see my try-ons, then that's great too. All right, I hope you enjoy this. Alright, so you just saw a picture of my friend and I waiting in line at the Lily Pulitzer corporate store. So this portion is going to be my in-store part of the video. I'm going to show you what I bought in-store, tell you prices, and then I'll be doing the try-on. So first I wanted to share a little bit of my in-store experience. I shopped at the corporate store in Columbus, Ohio at Easton and my friend and I got there about 25, 825, 8.30 and they opened at 9 so we were in line only like 30, 35 minutes, not that long and we were 5th and 6th in line so there was not a huge line at all to wait in. There were probably I would say maybe 25 or 30 people which is about the same as there was in August um, waiting in line. They let everyone in at once what I will say is that there was a lot less inventory, both in store and online, um, for the winter sale than the one in August or September, just because I think there's less things to sell since they've just had their really big one. Um, in store, there were not nearly as many dresses as I had anticipated, um, a lot more sweaters and tops and that's fine with me because I do live in Northern Ohio. So um, right now I can wear all these things. I've been waiting to wear them until I did the video. So all my tags are still on, but I'm going to be showing you all those things. Um, oh, and I did want to include that we did try on this time. Last time I did not try anything on because they were doing a number system for the dressing room and it was taking forever. This time they just had people get in line and when it was your turn, it was your turn. Um, my friend and I actually shared a dressing room so we could see the other one and see what we were trying on and help each other decide what to buy. So it ended up working great. I tried some stuff on that I actually didn't end up getting because I didn't like how it looked on my body as much as I did on the hanger. So I was really glad that I did that. So here we go. This is the in-store purchase. All right, so let's look at what I purchased in store. The first thing I purchased was actually um, a jewelry piece. They had quite a bit of jewelry available at the um, corporate store I was shopping. Lots of it was earrings. Um, I did not buy earrings. I did choose this bag because I have the pajamas in this print and I love it. That's one of the things I love about buying jewelry at the after party sale is you can usually choose which print of the bag you want and honestly I don't store the jewelry in the bag so I don't really use them that much 
Um, but if you have a really cool idea for what to do with the bags that the jewelry comes in, comment below and let me know because I'd love to do something cute with mine. Anyways, this what I purchased was the Beachy bracelet and it's actually three separate bracelets together. Um, you'll see from the tag, this was originally $48 and I got it on sale for $19. There is one that just has gold tassels, and then there is another one that has the pink, green, and kind of like a turquoise tassel, and then this one has two blues and a coral. So you could wear them all together, or you can separate them if you only have an outfit that matches one of these. So that was really neat. Next I have this sweater. And if we take a look here, you'll see this is the Kobo sweater. This is the Heather Crew Blue Coastal Shell Stripe. It was normally $138 and I purchased it for $59. I am a pretty true size medium and I was able to get a size small in this top. The medium was very large. It is supposed to be an oversized fit, but there was so much extra room in the body of the medium that um, it was just too much, and I still have room in the body of the small, but the arms are a little tighter. Not uncomfortable for me, um, but if you do have larger arms, that could be a problem for you. I just loved this one. This was on my wish list when I went to the store. It is a light blue, and then it has this gorgeous gold detailing with metallic in the stripes. I just think it's a very cute top. It has these two little pockets, which are great for me being an elementary teacher. I can always find things that need to go in pockets. And then the sleeves are a three quarter length. So this was a great purchase. I think one more time I'll zoom into the tag for you in case you want to look for that item. Oops. Okay, next. This was so on my wish list, guys. I love, love, love this sweater. This is the Adina sweater, and this is, color is Sea Urchin Purple. It was originally $128, and I was able to get it for $59. I did get it in a medium, which is my true size. It does have this v-neck. It's not super deep, but the cutest thing about this entire sweater is the sleeves. There are these little bows down the sleeves, and then you do see a little bit of your skin in between each one, but not a whole lot. Um, I probably will not wear this to teach. I could, it's not like it's inappropriate or anything um, to see little spots on my arms, but I will probably save this for kind of a weekend top um, just to go out somewhere with my boyfriend um, or friends. I think it's a super cute top and I was so excited to get hit this. So there's the information one more time. On this top, it was 59, originally 128. It's the Adina sweater. All right, next I tried on this top. I tried this on in the store and I wasn't sure I was gonna like it and then I loved it once I put it on. So this is the Cali sweater. Originally it was 128 and this one's on sale for 54, so $5 cheaper than the other two. I did get it in a medium. It also came in a purple color, very similar to this sweater, and I almost purchased it, but I thought, I already purchased a purple, let's purchase a pink, and I'm totally a pink girl, if you couldn't already tell from my hangers and everything else about my life, I love pink. So this is a just plain, pretty much on the body, hot pink. The one side has these three little gold buttons, and then the sleeves are a bell sleeve at the bottom, we see that gold detailing that we saw in this first top, and then we also have the white stripes. It's a very flattering top. One more time, that was the Cali sweater, originally 128, and it was on sale for 54. And lastly, we have this Ophelia dress. Okay, this is in the print Hypes and Stripes. Um, it does have the floral detailing, and then you'll see on it there are these little 
zebras. So that's the stripe part. The center is very blue. You can see right here, I do have a mark on it from previously trying it on my makeup smeared a little bit. Um, so here's the information on that. It was originally 178 and I got it on sale in store for 79. Now it does have that beautiful navy right down the middle. And then it also has a bell sleeve like the last top, but only at the bottom, three quarter length. And it is a nice length. I am also very short, but it's not something that's super short on me. I wasn't sure how I was going to like this, honestly. I thought it's either gonna be very flattering or very unflattering with the way the print is. And I think it's super flattering with this um, navy blue because it does elongate your body. Okay, so here is the Kobo sweater. Remember, I was able to size down to a small. It does cover your backside if you're wearing it with leggings, and it's a little bit long in the front. And then we have these pockets in the front as well. This is the Adina sweater. I will probably wear this with shapewear since you can see my stomach. Um, and here are the bows that I was talking about. Very cute on the sleeves. This is the Cali sweater in hot pink. You can see the sleeves, very cute top. Um, you can see my bra strap a little bit through the back, but still very cute top, and I love that detail. This is the Ophelia dress. I will definitely wear a navy bra underneath, um, but you can see it has the bell sleeves, and the pattern is just really flattering on your figure. Okay, so here are my two items that I purchased from Zappos. I do set an alarm and wake up at 3 a.m. Eastern <laughs> to shop on Zappos. And they didn't have a whole lot that I was looking for. They did have a decent amount of sale items, just not that much that I was in the market for. But both of these items have been on a wish list, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. The benefit of shopping Zappos is that you get the items in one day. They have one day shipping. I actually ordered one other item um, kind of impulsively and because I was confused and it was early and I just wasn't sure. And I returned it as soon as it got scanned at the drop off. They put my money back in my account. So Zappos has been great. I do know some people have gotten the wrong item from tag switchers at Zappos. So do keep that in mind if you order there though. The first thing I'm going to show you is this Harper Shift dress, and this is in um, Cracked Up. I have wanted this for a while. I like this pattern. I like the print. Um, I did get a size medium. I actually wanted this at the August, well, September after party sale, but it was only on sale for $89. Now, this one is usually $148. And I just didn't think 89 was that great of a deal, honestly. Um, so I went on to Zappos and it ended up being $59.20. So $59.20 for the shift dress, which I thought was just amazing. And I totally snatched it up. Um, the item I returned was actually also a shift dress, but it was in the About Time print. Um, however, I have the romper in that print, and I felt like they were really similar looking, so I ended up returning that one. It was the same price as well. Next, I have the Rayleigh dress. I liked this since it came out, but I just didn't want to pay full price for it. It's a $98 dress normally, I believe. Let's see. Yes, this is in the print peanut gallery. I did get my size medium, my true size. And this ended up being $34.30, which was an insane deal, I thought. It is just, technically, I mean, it's a cotton tank top dress, really. That's what it is. But um, I just thought that was such a good deal for a printed lily dress. Um, it's really nice. It was, I believe, I believe it was only 34 on the website if I was remembering correctly. So I did pay 30 more cents, but I got it in one day. So totally worth it, even though I cannot wear it right now because it is really cold in Northern Ohio. 
So these are the two dresses I got on Zappos and decided to keep, but they shipped in one day. They're exactly the right thing. They're brand new. They don't have any strange smells or anything, which I know that some people have mentioned before. So I was very happy with my Zappos purchase. This is the Rayleigh dress, and it's just a nice summer staple dress, a little tank top dress. Um, it would definitely be maybe too short on someone taller than me. This is the Harper Shift. You can see the nice embellishment around the top. Um, I probably will wear shapewear with this just to smooth me out a little bit more, and it is a short dress. All right, so I'm gonna show you now what I purchased on the Lily Pulitzer website for the sale. The sale was two days long. It was on a Monday and a Tuesday. And the sale was pretty crazy in comparison to most. Um, I did get online on my computer at work before kids were in the room, luckily. And um, initially I was put into the queue and I believe it said I had like 20 or 30 minutes that I was gonna have to wait. And I opened up another tab thinking I wanted to get in line again to make my second purchase and the second tab let me right into the sale. So I was able to shop immediately when it opened and I checked out with my first couple things that I really wanted and wanted to make sure that they didn't sell out and get pulled out of my cart first. And then I went back in um, and made a second purchase pretty quickly as well. And then I bought one item in my third order on the second day. Now, I will say they did release multiple extra items during the sale throughout the first day and the second day, but most of them were not very impressive to me. Um, the third order I placed with the one item was something released later, and I bought it really impulsively, not sure it would work out, and it really did, so I'm extra glad about that. I'll tell you about it once we start looking at the items. The crazy part of this sale was one, that people got in immediately, which is pretty much unheard of. The second part was shipping times. They have been so fast. Um, I'm filming this at the end of January. I believe the sale was somewhere around like 7th and 8th maybe, or 6th and 7th. It was the Monday, Tuesday of January. And I received my first shipping notification the day after the sale ended. Um, on a Wednesday, I received my second shipping notification on Friday of that same week. And then my third item, I got um, the last thing. And that ended up getting here, I believe, the 21st or 22nd of January. So I received everything within two weeks of the end of the sale. And they tell you to expect four to six. So I got everything super fast. I know people were getting notifications before the sale had even ended that their items had shipped, which is crazy, totally unheard of. So the shipping was great. Um, I did not have anything canceled this sale, so I got everything that I ordered and everything shipped in the order that I purchased it in, which I hope they continue with um, because it's very frustrating when someone is one of the first people to check out and then their item gets canceled. So there was a really great, um, amount of things for it being the winter sale. I know that the August, September sale is a little bit bigger, but I got some great stuff and I'm excited to show it to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you now what I purchased on the Lily website and you can check it out. The first thing I purchased was this Kelsey silk dress and this one has a bit of a story. I tried on the maxi version in the store in a size 10. I'm usually an 810. In some Lily shifts, I have to size up to a 12 because I do have a very large bust and I have wide hips. Um, so it depends on the cut. I tried this on in a 10 and it was just not very flattering on my body in the maxi. I felt like it looked like a maternity dress on me. I, I just looked like I had so much extra weight in my middle section and the top portion was also very um, small in the chest and with these small straps and the way that it's cut 
Um, I definitely couldn't wear a bra. So I saw this shorter version. It is in navy and it does have this gorgeous gold detailing on it. So I saw this on the website and I bought it really impulsively. I was not planning on purchasing the, this even though it is a slightly different version. I bought it in a 12 because my hope was um, that that would give me a little more coverage in the chest and I do have a little more but I'm not positive that it's as much as I would like. So I haven't actually decided if I'm going to keep this dress or not. I'm not sure if I'll show it to you in the try-ons or not. It really just depends. Um, I do feel pretty exposed in it, which usually I'm okay with, but I feel like the dress is kind of for a nicer event, so I don't know if it'd work out. Here's the information on it. It was originally a $268 dress which is quite a bit for a shorter style, and it was on sale for $89. You'll see I wrote my prices um, in pencil because the stuff you receive online typically doesn't have the sale sticker on it. So for $89, I was able to get this to try it out. I'm still not positive, but if I end up deciding to sell, it shouldn't be a hard piece for me to sell. Next, I have the Owen dress, and let me tell you, this was on my list from the moment it came out. It is this gorgeous hot pink, which is totally me. I love hot pink, and then it has this purple and blue detailing um, with a little gold on it. So this is the Owen dress. It is in a size medium, which is my true size. The color is pinata pink. It was originally $238 and I got it for $79 online. So basically once this went in my cart and one other item I'll be showing you in a little bit, I had to check out because I was not willing to lose this dress. It is so pretty. I'm thinking about wearing it for Valentine's Day dinner even though it will be freezing here I'm sure just with the warm coat and some tights and booties. Um, so I was so, so excited to get this. It is gorgeous. Next time we have the navy dress. This is in a size medium. It is an off the shoulder dress. I do have the shoulders up right on the edges here. It has these to help too, but um, I like to have the shoulders just tucked on at the top. So here is the tag for this. Um, it is in a lot of colada. And it was originally $178 and on sale for $54. Um, it's a very light material, very thin, light material, even though it does have the three-quarter length sleeves um, and they are a bell sleeve at the bottom. Um, this would be very light and easy to wear even when it's fairly warm out because of the material. And I did get that in a medium. I'm just going to stick this behind here. Um, I got this top and I loved this top because of this pocket. Okay, this is the Luella top in Resort White, size medium. This is normally a $78 top and it was on sale for $39. Now, I will say it's very thin. You definitely are going are gonna to need something under it or at least a bralette. And then the pocket has this gold sequin detail. And this is what I really loved about this um, top. I think it will go really well with a lot of other things. You could probably wear it on its own um, as long as you have something under it. But I think it'll just be a nice item to combine with some other purchases. Next we have a few accessories and then some more clothing items. So first I'm going to show you this bag I purchased. This is a crossbody. You'll see there's this pretty long um, gold strap on it. And this one even has the newer tag for the 60th anniversary. So this is the Melorca crossbody and it is in Garden Getaway. It was originally $68 and I got it on sale for $29. Um, you'll see it just has a little snap closure um, and 
the strap runs through the inside. Inside you have three card slots and then this fits. I have um, a plus size iPhone and it fits in there just about perfectly. Um, so it can fit a bigger phone. I just thought this would be nice to throw on in the spring or summer um, when you don't want to take a big purse with you when you're going somewhere. Just seemed like a cute little bag and for $29 you really can't beat it. Next I got my boyfriend this tie. So this is the men's tie in Cabana Cocktail. It was originally $78 and on sale for $29. Um, my boyfriend does not mind matching or wearing lily prints in the men's styles at all, so I'm very lucky as far as that goes. Um, I don't actually have anything in this print, but he wears a lot of blue and pink colored button-ups when we dress up for things. So I just thought, even if I'm not matching, um, this would go so well with a lot of his nicer shirts. Then... Look how pretty this is. This is the Gwyneth Paltrow tote bag, the Goop collection. I did not think the Goop collection was going to be on the sale. Everyone said it would never be on sale. Um, so I was super surprised to see it. Um, probably one of the last things I need is another tote bag, but it was just so pretty. Um, and let's look at the tag here. This is the Palm Beach tote and it was originally $88 and on sale for $29. You guys, that is crazy. $29. Um, I know some people didn't purchase this as much as they thought they were going to because a lot of people, I guess, are not really fans of Gwyneth Paltrow. I don't have any issue with her, but um, I loved this print, this pattern. I thought it was adorable. And $29 for this is not bad when it was originally $88. So I was super excited to get this tote bag. And as you can tell, it's a pretty good size. Next, I got this Madison Skort. I only have one other Madison Skort. And I believe it's in C Salt in the Air. Um, and I love that Madison Skort. It does not have these little gold buttons. Um, on the faux pockets. Um, my other one doesn't, but this one does. And let me pull up the tag for you. Madison Score, an early bloomer, size medium. Normally 78 and it was on sale for 34 I really enjoy wearing these. Um, they are shorter, but you have the shorts underneath. You'll see these are a lilac color. Just a nice little casual summer um, outfit you can wear and you don't have to worry about bending over or anything like that because you have the shorts. And these Luxletic leggings were my impulse purchase that I mentioned. Um, these were released at a later time and this is in the print Rainbow Soleil. I really love the print. I don't own anything in it until now. So what, by the time that I saw it and went to purchase it, they only had a size small. I can find the tag here. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay. So here you go. They're the Weekender Cropped Rainbow Soleil size small. They were originally 98 and they were on sale for 44. Now these, this is what the bottom looks like. It's just this little scallop. Um, and I purchased these really impulsively thinking that there was pretty much no way they were going to fit me. And I would just be selling them, but everyone loves leggings, so I didn't think it'd be a big deal. So I got these, and like I've said probably a million times on, on here already, I'm a pretty true size medium. I do have bigger hips and bigger thighs, so I thought there's no way these are going to fit me, and they do. They're a size small. They fit me. Um, that little scallop part comes just right up above my ankle. They're not really cropped for me. They're very close to full length. Um, you can see a little bit of ankle, but they don't look like high waters or anything. Um, so they are super cute. And this is actually my first pair of Lily Luxletic leggings. Um, I've never been a huge fan of wearing giant prints on pants on my legs because I do think it just makes my thighs look bigger usually. 
but these are adorable and I'm so glad that I purchased them. And I have one thing left to show you. Finally, the last thing I purchased was the Goop Maxi Skirt and I was so surprised when I saw this. This was the other thing that I added into my cart along with that hot pink Owen dress. Um, and as soon as these two were in my cart, I knew I had to check out because these this was probably going to sell out. It is so, so gorgeous. Um, by the time I was there, the most of the bigger sizes were sold out. I purchased this in a size 10. Um, it was originally $248 and on sale for $79. I could not pass it up. Now, I saw a lot of people said after I purchased it that you need to size up in this, and I can agree. <laughs> somewhat, somewhat I can agree, I guess. Um, it does fit my waist. I will say it goes on my waist, it zips up. Um, it's not that it's too small, but it is very tight at my natural waist. Even though my natural waist is my smallest area, I'm fairly hourglass shaped. Um, but it's definitely tight and there is no stretch whatsoever. They have this tie you can do at your on your own. The back is a zipper. In fact, let me just turn it around for you. So the back does have this zipper and then it has the little um, clasp closure at the top. So the zipper isn't super long. Um, I knew I would have to have some alterations on this because I am fairly short. I'm only 5'3", so even if I wear heels or wedges, um, I'm still going to have to have some taken off the bottom or I'm just going to be stepping on it. Um, but I haven't decided if I'm going to alter the waist at all. Um, it feels more comfortable to me to actually wear it right under my bust, which is over my ribs, and that area is bigger than my natural waist, so it is very tight there. Um, but I feel like it looks a little bit better because my natural waist, um, right where my rib cage ends, kind of makes it look like I'm spilling over it where just because my ribs are there. Um, I have started working out a little bit, so I'm going to see if that makes a difference as well. I'm not willing to give this up. I will pay what it takes to alter it because it is just so gorgeous and I'm seriously not even sure where I'm going to wear this to, but it needs a reason to be worn, I think. This is the Owen dress and it's a very flowy dress. Here I'm showing you that it does have pockets and really the embellishment on it is just so gorgeous. Here I'm adjusting the navy dress. You can kind of decide how much you want to show on the top. And the off the shoulder is very nice. The sleeves look great. Um, it is a little bit tighter in the hip area. This is the Kelsey dress. And now that I'm seeing it on video, I think I actually will keep it. It's not showing quite as much as I thought it did. And I do think it's just such a pretty dress as well. Okay, I would not wear these two together, but here's the Luella top and the Goop maxi skirt, which is just so pretty. Um, you can see the way I have it right now, it's still not the most flattering from the back. Um, so I'm going to take the phone and angle it down so you can see that it is a bit long. I'd still need it altered because I would be stepping on it even with heels on in this video. Um, so now I'm actually going to adjust it and pull it down more to my natural waist. And it doesn't look too bad in the front, but I still think from the back and the side, it's not as flattering as I'd like for it to be. So I either will wear shapewear under this, or I will maybe do like a chambray shirt tied up um, high around my waist so you don't see those areas. Um, but the skirt itself is just so gorgeous. I'll just need it to be shortened a little bit at the bottom. I also probably would not wear these two together. I just took the Luella top and tucked it in so you could see the Madison skirt. It does have those little buttons and it's not too short in the back, but you also have these shorts underneath. So these are the leggings that I bought. I'm just wearing the fin top I was wearing earlier 
You'll see they are size smaller than usual, but they don't look bad and they're not too short on me like high waters or anything like that. All right, well, I really wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're liking my videos, you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos coming up. I will be doing another um, Lily Pulitzer based video very soon that's very basic, but I think it's gonna be great and um, interesting to a lot of people and helpful around APS time. And I'd also love it if you guys would comment below with what your favorite item is that you bought at the January Lily Pulitzer after party sale, or if you are like me and you have no self-control, tell me what your favorite item is that you bought at the after party sale. I really love seeing what other people bought and I hope you enjoy seeing what I bought. Thanks so much, bye.